ADCC and decided I may as well do the Open as well. I uh, competed in the Masters 70 kilogram division uh, in the pro section, so it was like purple belts and up, and uh, was able to get a couple of submissions there. I got a quick straight ankle lock in my first match. Uh, second match, I went up against a very strong wrestler uh, named John Marsh, who is JT Torres' strength and conditioning and wrestling coach. Uh, had some deep heel hooks, thought I was gonna get him, uh, but the dude is super tough and he didn't tap, and uh, then ended up mounting me in the last 15 seconds and got three points, so definitely was one of those things you go back and you watch the replay on and you go, ah, I can fix this, this, and that, but I felt pretty good. Uh, and then that got me the bronze uh, uh, into the bronze match um, with a guy strong brown belt out of 10th planet and uh, fed him Ashi. He took the bait and did a calf slicer in 14 seconds. So felt very very good about that one. Uh, it's been a while since I've done pretty like I guess I, I've trained uh, uh, competed the way that I trained, and so it felt nice to all the stuff that I do in the gym was able to translate. Uh, uh, the competition. I've been watching since the first episode hit. I remember uh, one of the blue belts at my school came into the locker room one day. It was like, you heard about this Daisy Fresh thing? It's like a bunch of like, it's basically like skateboard culture, like like skateboarders. They just like fuck around and do jujitsu all the time. <laughs> like, live in the and I was totally taken by it from from the start. Everyone's personalities, uh, but everyone's just like really good at jujitsu too and cares about each other. And so yeah, at a certain point, I was I was thinking I'm gonna need to get out there and visit. And uh, earlier this year was able to go out and hang out for a few days. I got food poisoning, so I wasn't able to train the entire time I was there. Uh, but the sessions I did have were really fun, and I got my ass kicked, and like, so fun just, uh, yeah, being in the spot where you've seen on TV, and you've, like, uh, you know that a lot of people want to be able to visit it, and then getting to be there before you guys move to the new gym, I feel like I got to taste a little of that, like, history, uh, which is really cool to look back on. The tour, I, I also love the end of the, uh, one of the tours, this may be the one you're talking about, Derek Featherson, he's like, he starts crying, and it's so real and touching. Uh, so I texted him and was just like, bro, like, that was really special. I could tell that that meant a lot for you. And yeah, pretty awesome. Hey, wrestling and just watched today because I had a, a tender rib this morning from training on Tuesday at my old school or my own school uh, so I just watched that and it got me really excited to come in to this evening class it was gonna be a heat class and then last second got convinced by all these guys to take the heat off and do some no heat uh, and I had a great time it was just rounds today so we didn't do any like instruction or anything at least on this side of things uh, but got a lot of stuff in it was, it was a blast <laughs> 
but I mean, it's identical. It's just as wet as you would assume it to be. Uh, everyone's just as nice as you would assume them to be as well. Yeah. Uh, I train really hard at my academy, so like I'm used to to like spirited roles. But uh, here, everyone is spirited, but also very technical, and a lot of upper belts training here too. So it's not necessarily stuff that I haven't seen before, but like back to back to back to backgrounds. Yeah. Seeing that, it's it's a lot, but it's really really fun. I don't think I was expecting for Pouch to throw me into uh, my very first round today and say, Riley, we're going. Uh, he's prepping for who's number one, so I would think that he'd want to go with somebody else that he knows. Uh, uh, but to go legs with him very first round and then to consistently get called out by him to do some more leg rounds was really cool and, and uh, I don't know, like humbling. Uh, but yeah, no surprises in the sense that like I knew everyone would be good and um, I, I think it was it was really just the, 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 the like how nice everybody was. Like, yeah. Again, not surprising but also surprising at the same time. For people who don't know, I'm a, I'm a director and I, I wrote, directed this movie that was going to be at Sundance this year. And uh, about a week ago, a little under a week ago, they decided that because of COVID, they were going to have to shut down the in-person part of the festival. So it's this thing I've been looking forward to for months and months and months. Uh, it's all virtual now, which is cool in its own way, but it's not the same as going and being at the festival. And it's the most important festival in the country. So, And I've, I've never had a film or a feature there. So I was a little down about that and I've been training a lot. So I said, why don't I just go and have some fun and do something very different than out in a lot of my comfort zone. So figured I could write while I'm here as well, but I mainly just wanted to come and train. Uh, and I, I was born like an hour and a half away from here in this town called Charleston, Illinois. And so it was cool too to come out and be like near where I used to, uh, where I used to train, uh, where I used to. Do you even know who that is? No, it's <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. It's fucking gross. <laughs> but also, I mean, this is what I do, so it's really fun. I, I think a lot of people think that like this is a hobby for me, and while it's not my career, it's definitely more than a hobby, it's a passion. Right. And so to come here and be around people who this is what they eat, sleep, and breathe. I mean, I'm going to sleep in a nice hotel room tonight that I booked for myself. <laughs> uh, this is some people's lives, and so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Push, yeah. I was trying to extend my leg. No, with your other foot. She get it under it. That's what I did the second time. And did I, you? I didn't think I did it fast so enough. If I get it past this line, then it's going. Yeah, like you, this is too late. You're actually okay here. You can extend push. Yeah, so once I get past 90, that was here. And then because I tried to just but see you, I kind of still can't. So then I tried to like. Yeah, and then oh, I'm, I'm still dead. Yeah, so, your legs stronger than my arm. My my goal when people know this defense is to scoop under yeah, and shoulder. This is not aiming for. It was smart because you do this. Come back. Yeah. You do. Well, it's here first, so I think. You do this, and then I to do make this, it and then you fucking put it across. I was like. Oh shit, that's, that's, that's smart. That's my yeah, trick. Smart. So I prefer, if I can, just to go straight in. So right here, pushing here. Yeah, that's awesome. But if I, I always grab. It. I do like when people go Ashi. This is my counter, or if I'm standing, and this is a weak pushing. It actually happens a lot more than. That. I mean, with someone like with me. People get complacent, but you're not gonna. Never. That's Never. A, that's a really good setup. Three, two, one. 
Thank you. This is a secret.